You're watching Tom Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are now joined by Daryl Parrish. He is the city manager for the city of Covina. And sir, I've been speaking with a lot of municipal officials and they all seem to be speaking about the same issue, which is their concerns over prison realignment, which is the program whereby lower level offenders are not serving their time in state prisons, but county jails as a result of a Supreme Court order, U.S., saying that our state prisons were overcrowded. The issue for local communities is the, the, the prisoners as they're being pushed to the county jail system, the prisoners in the county jail system were being pushed out, re released back on the street, and local communities have to deal with the recidivism, the recurrence mm -hmm. of crimes that are committed by these individuals. But, but as I understood it, one of the intended benefits of realignment is these lower level offenders would be serving their time locally. They wouldn't be shipped to other counties and there would be programs put in place so that while they're there, they're learning how to reintegrate to society. And after they're released, they may be part of continuing programs. There, there's just no resources to provide the, the level of programs that need to be provided. The county jail system was not designed to hold long-term prisoners. Well, that's a whole other that's issue. A whole other I mean, because we know that through enhancements, uh, some county prisoners are staying for way more than three years, which was the intent of the legislation. Indeed. We're looking at fixes on that, I understand, in Sacramento. No, they're, they're, so they're, what is Covina as an example of a municipality doing? Well, actually, our issue is lack of resources. There's no additional funds that have been passed down to deal with the additional crime that's, that's, that's being committed is by some of these individuals. Is there more crime? You know, there, there is an uptick in, in, in certain types of crime, i.e. property crimes, vehicle burglaries, you, breaking in. Are you convinced that it's as a result of these AB 109 prisoners, or could it be that the economy is turning around, so people are getting more brazen and... You know, it, it, it could be a perfect storm. Mm -hmm. we, we definitely believe that AB 109 has something to do with crime rising in, in communities, especially mm. a particular type of crime, i.e. the types that I just These mentioned. These low, lower level lower property Lower level offenses. issues, but primarily, mm. although not always, because you know one of the things with the AB 109 program is it's based on the last. Right, the last offense. The last offense. They don't look at priors, and, right. You know, the last offense may have been shoplifting, but if you go back before that, it may have been something more serious. Right. These people were being put on That also is something that is being considered for a fix in Sacramento. But the problem, sir, well, but here's the problem, is that we're not hitting the goals ordered by the court in terms of decreasing the state prison population. And, and that, that, that's, that's another issue, and I think that, that needs to be, be lucked at. And, and, and perhaps the way that whole situation is being analyzed is, is incorrect. And, we, I, we believe that the prison system can hold more individuals. Than Tell that being, to the U.S. Supreme Court. Well, that's, you know, there, there, there are disagreements there. It's really the, Cal, it's the ninth district that, that's Well, but it went upstairs, and the Supreme Court was very clear that California's prisons were cruel and unusual. We believe something needs to be done. About no doubt about situation. it. Let's talk about redevelopment, another sore spot for municipalities, eliminated by the governor, that elimination upheld by the California Supreme Court. How are you doing without redevelopment? You know, it, it, it's tough not having the tool. Uh, obviously, the city of Covina redevelopment agency, successor agency, just shipped out about $9 million to the state painful. two weeks ago. Painful. Very painful. We ship out $9 million. We get $1.5 million back. 20% approximately back. Think of that as, as, as an, your investment portfolio, investing right. 9 million and getting 1.5 back. Sure. That, that's kind of the way you know, we Are you working to find a new type of redevelopment? It seems like now anything that goes through to the state legislature, and there are some, there right. are some movement there to do something uh -huh. about that, but you know, the governor has pretty much said he's gonna veto I anything. He's, he is Daryl Parrish, he is the city manager for Covina. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thanks for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.